So if you're shadowing or going to dental school, you need to know the directional term so you know which part of the tooth that you're talking about. So if this is the maxilla, this is the mandible, we're going to be focused on the mandible today. I'm going to do this from your perspective so you know what you're looking at. Okay? So this is the mandibular first molar. If we get a closer look at this, what you can see is it kind of looks like a cube. Okay? So we're looking at this perspective of a cube. I'm going to draw that for you. All right, so here's the cube. So again, we're looking at this tooth, this one right here, and we're looking at it from kind of this perspective. So this is the bottom of your jaw, your lower jaw, your mandible. So your tongue will go right here. So if we're looking at this aspect of the tooth right here, this would be the lingual. Now, what about this opposite side, the side, the face that we cannot see? Well, it depends on being an anterior or posterior tooth. Anterior will be labial, and posterior, like what we have here, will be buccal for the cheek. So here, let's draw that. All right, so that's buccal. Now, what about the top? The top for an anterior tooth is going to be referred to as the incisal. But here, it'll be the occlusal because it's before the canine. All right, now what about either side of this tooth? So now that's going to be dependent on the midline. So if we draw that, we have a certain part of each tooth that is closer to the midline. That side will be referred to as mesial. Whereas the opposite side, which is further from the midline, will be referred to as the distal. Both of these together are summed up as the proximal view. All right, so now to run back through, we have the occlusal top portion. We have the mesial towards the midline portion, the distal away from the midline portion, the lingual portion, and then the buccal portion. Any anterior tooth includes canine to canine. So the only difference would be the occlusal would be the incisal. And the buckle of a posterior would be the labial for lips. So again, canine to canine. Like and subscribe. This is Chase Rebordi with the game plan for your academics.